man. So the other day I posted a video with um Cardi B going off on folks because um it's Black History Month and people are trying to protect the image of black folks this month in particular, especially this month right here. And there's been these two creators that's been making a lot of cringy content and some people have compared it to them possibly doing like menstrual type content, like menstrual show type shit, you feel me? And um, I can see the comparisons. <laughs> If you want to go there, I can see it. I personally wouldn't go that far, but I can see the comparisons. I, I definitely do. But to continue with what I'm saying, people were upset, even in my comment section, especially all across online, they were upset with Cardi B in particular, speaking out on these issues with her not being African American. What I did today is I compiled some thoughts from some people. We're gonna go through those thoughts and then I'm gonna tell you mine, all right? I'm African-American, okay? And I'm also of Caribbean descent, Haitian Bahamian descent. So even though I am of Haitian Bahamian descent, I'm still qualified based on Tariq Nasheed's rule to be FBA. So I can have this conversation with you guys, not just Cardi B. So I'm gonna tell you what I think from my perspective after I share you these folks' perspective. Let's get to it. First of all, we got this guy from TikTok named Jermaine Terrell one you guys go check him out. Let's see what he has to say right here First things first as to why this irritated me Cardi's not black no matter how you dress her up No matter how you dress her down Cardi has not lived a black experience She does not live a black experience and my prime example of this is you can't name not one black female artist Who career has went from Instagram love and hip-hop and then mainstream success Just by speaking Ebonics and being loud and charismatic so of course, she's not going to see a problem with the way that they act because she reached her level of success ultimately acting the way that they act. So for her to sit here and say they're not doing anything wrong but being cheesy and corny, she might truly feel that way because again, she's not black. But what us black people see when we see stuff like this, especially coming from other black individuals, is the underlying racism that's connected to it. Because again, they go into predominantly white spaces and they do this type of stuff. Feeding to the white audience, assuming that everybody that's laughing with me is ultimately not laughing at me. Because if they want to be cheesy and corny, they could have did anything else. But to sit here and to name yourself the dancing gorilla, and then to sit here and to act like that over fried chicken, again, in white spaces, they know what they're doing. They're pandering to the white audience, which is fine. Now, as far as people doing a petition to get them canceled and removed from social media, I just block them. But you can't sit here and tell people that the black community has a crabs in the barrel mentality because we don't want to see this shit. All right, so that's a fair perspective from the homie Jermaine. You heard what Jermaine got to say. Go check him out on TikTok if you want to see some more of his content. Once again, I'm not here to go and diminish his perspective and how he's perceiving these things. All I'm going to do once I finish this thing, these things all up, is all from my perspective as well. So let's move on to the next perspective. So another conversation that continued from this point is saying that Cardi is not a black woman. You feel me? She's not a black woman. People have pointed to this interview that Cardi did back in the days with Vlad TV. But, but you don't date Spanish guys at all? No. Do you have any idea why? I guess I like, um, first and first, I like, I like um, dark complexion. And it seemed like every dark guy that I ever like, <laughs> they're African American or Jamaican. I don't even like people I think that like is my race, just because I like to date people that are different from me. Like I like to date people that that are not like me. I like I like to I like their culture. I already so she alluded to not being black because she said that she likes to date men that's not her race. 
and pointed to African American men as far as the type of guys that she likes that's dark. Not saying that she's not of African descent, but definitely didn't say African American. She basically said she's Hispanic, man. She believes she's Hispanic. And it is what it is from that point. So that takes us here. So this guy right here posted this. This is Shatire. That's a guy named Shatire. By the way, I'm sorry that I'm probably doing this out of order. If you have not heard what Cardi B had to say, it's on my last video. I linked, I'll link it in the description below and in the card above at some point in this video. But if you did not hear what Cardi B had to say, go check that out and then come back. So homie says, Cardi B saying we're the problem for not enjoying a black man who call himself a dancing primate and doing things like this is interesting. I try to avoid the is she or is she not black debate, but side eye for real. Now, homie, this is disingenuous and it's not true. It's not true. She didn't say that we're the problem for not enjoying him. She said that it'd be your own people for getting in the way of whatever he has to create income. Like, don't try to petition for him to be banned on a platform. If you don't like his content, either keep scrolling or better yet, just block him and keep it pushing. She didn't say you had to enjoy the man. You are stretching it. You're stretching it, my guy. Now, homie continue to say, like, this is not just corny or cringy material. This is minstrelsy, and that harms us all, black people. It don't harm me. But um, to be clear, I normally agree with Cardi, and she often lands on the right side of issues. She's dead ass wrong here, though. Put your stand cards down for a second. I'm not a Cardi B stand, but that shit don't harm me, and I'm a black man. Homie corrected her saying she didn't say enjoy them. She said leave them the fuck alone. Let them live their lives. Why can't y'all? How does this man affect you? It's so weird how y'all obsess over other people's lives. Scroll past it. Block him. But mind y'all damn business and let him run his. Shake my head. It's giving rocks for brains. That's a response to that person. And um, they continues. Another person in response to this guy says, she had valid points. I won't be tuning into him, but if he wants to shuck and job for money, let him LMAO like for real. That's not valid to me. Just how I would stand against coons like Candace Owens. I'm going to stand against him too. All right, it's my turn. So I don't have a big following on Twitter. Sometimes I just say stuff so I can have a reference for when I come on to YouTube and talk to, you, talk to my people, talk to my folks. So I said, look, man, so your solution, your solution to this issue is to share the images so 800,000 plus people can see it. I only see this man on my timeline when the people who dislike him post him. So at that point in time, it was 800,000 plus people that you know seen this guy post it's still 800,000 plus people that seen this post it's, it's possibly gonna get to a million that he shared his image need to mind you i never seen this until people that were complaining about it posted it screenshot of this shit and came and posted it on twitter shared it themselves he recorded and posted this shit on tiktok why the fuck is it on twitter because you shared this shit now let me get deeper into my point Black folks have made so many people who they hate rich as fuck. And um, listen, it's 2023. And if you didn't know, you pay with your eyes. Do you hear me? You pay with your eyes. So the more attention that you give something or someone, the more they profit. So many folks have had their careers explode solely because as a whole, Black folks don't like them. They don't like them. People like Tommy Lauren or better yet, homie said it himself, Candace Owens. And you know what the pro-black blogs do? They post them so you can comment and engage. But PSA, your comments produce nothing. Your Twitter think pieces produce nothing. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. They do something, they do something. But for the person that you hate, I don't get how you Twitter scholars are so smart, but yet too dumb to understand that you are providing free promotion to all the shit that you don't like. The messages that you don't like, the propaganda that you don't like, the creators that you don't like. You guys be promoting this shit for that frisky. Homie right here, the Shaheem dude that I just recently reacted to, the homie got like 50,000 50, followers. Over 800,000 people seeing this shit. Big Groove only got 300,000 followers on Instagram. That's it. I just had to look it up. Only, <laughs> that's all he got. 
That's all he got. Matter of fact, my, my, your hate, your hate, you talking shit, got Cardi B referencing this motherfucker. Your promotion has Cardi B going on IG Live to her 153 million fans to speak about some shit that you don't like and you want nobody to see. Think about it. Now, once again, my very first time ever seeing Big Groove, Grooving Gorilla, was when someone posted him on Twitter to clown him, to roast the man. And then that shit got a lot of engagement. So, you know, other people did, oh, shit. Nigga, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Run that bitch back. If, if that person got engagement from posting that dude, I'm going to go ahead and post him dude. You know the blogs did? Oh, shit. This guy popping. People hate him. We can go ahead and post him too. People getting crazy comments, crazy engagement. And you know what that did? It exploded his platform. It exploded his platform because you're sharing his image. And then people that want to be the first to post them are going to subscribe to the guy. They're going to go to follow him, turn on his notifications so they know when to post them. Because when they post them, people react. People comment. People share. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. And this happens with so many creators or, or so many messages that spread across social media that people claim to dislike. But you know what happens next? A random person sees this message or this creator that you don't like see you talking shit about the thing and they, they're they an individual thinker. They're free thinkers. So they go ahead and they go and do research themselves to see, is it that bad? And once they do their research, they realize it ain't. And um, they actually may even agree with said message or possibly they're entertained by said creator. And then you know what you made? A fucking fan. Congratulations. You guys hate the very monsters that you create. <laughs> but, 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 but wait, but wait. Do y'all really hate them though? Like, do you really hate these people? Think about it. Like, like, will this perspective that I'm presenting to you make you think twice before you make your next think piece on Twitter? In, 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 you know what? Just stop. Just stop. Like, I don't even want you lying to yourself. I don't want you lying to yourself. Just, just kill it. Kill it. Because I know the answer is. If you don't have something to criticize, then how are you going to be validated? What's going to generate your attention, your likes, your retweets? See, so many folks' online identity is based on speaking on some shit that they don't like. And anything that seems to be positive that they consciously promote, that shit must exist within the strict social construct that they've endorsed throughout their existence on social media. And if not, next thing you know, a motherfucker gonna be in your quote tweets asking, this you? While exposing your hypocrisy on some old shit that you said back in the days or some, some crazy shit. And boom. Now you the main character of the day getting your ass roasted on the timeline. <laughs> that shit must suck, dog. Hell no. Nah. But good luck out here in these social media streets, man. Try your best to have fun. Huh? Don't, don't get caught up, caught up in all this bullshit, dog. Try your best to have fun, man. Don't take things too personal. Like, take some ideas in and... Put some ideas out. Just, just keep it light. Keep it light. That's all I got to say about this whole thing. I want to provide my own perspective to this shit. I see where people coming from. I don't want to shit on any perspective. I just want to provide my own. You know? It's your boy Stacy. If you like my video that's constructed like this right here, go crazy on that like button. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And let's continue this conversation in the comment section below. I'm going to get everybody here though. It's your boy Stacey once again. Yo.